And hi guys, Marauder here. Welcome back to Guardian Z War in the East. Uh, we are playing as the Germans, striking deep into the Soviet territory. Right now we have turn 5, 17th of July 1941. And we already done we have already done Army Group Center and we have driven really really deep into the heart of the Soviet Union. And also uh, Army Group North, we are at the outskirts of Leningrad. So today we will be doing um, Army Group South here on Kiev. Let me just put the station markings on. Mm. And uh, uh, <coughs> is isolated buffer supply and so on. As you can see here, our so our units are in the beachhead supply, which means the, the yellow market, yellow marker. Yeah, uh, I was. I'm sorry for the um, a bit longer break. I was skiing and having some holidays, but now we are right back into the action. We'll be finishing turn five soon and proceeding next to turn six. I'm really, really excited about the Moscow situation and how it will resolve. I'm worried that the Soviets will, well, encircle our unit here and route it out or, I don't know, even capture it if we cannot rescue it in time. Because they need just one turn of full um, encirclement and then the next turn, if they attack it and uh, like beat it, then it's it surrenders. The game mechanics about German surrendering units is quite similar to the Soviet mechanics. They just came up uh, as reinforcements or reserves, uh, but they are uh, formed from recruits. They have low, mm, low combat power and uh, no morale, no experience, and so on. So the uh, the divisions came came back as a shadow of its former self, so to call. And it's quite weak and needs uh, out of time to reach its full potential again. So hopefully it won't happen. Hopefully. But, uh, okay, mm, the army group south is quite large, so I'd rather be mm, quick about it. So, no real dally and start fighting. Get into the uh, get into the action. We have finished the cover pocket from turn one finally, and we can send the division to assist in uh, assist in fighting here in the south. Can we do it with the bit attack? Nope. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Let's clear some more pockets here. Five points, no way. So let's try the one pointers. Hmm. Zero situation. Just here, maybe there is attack. It worked, okay. There are 10 points here, so I would need probably a full German division. Or do I just ignore it? And wait for, for its combat, to, combat power to diminish. I don't know. We can leave the, the cavalry unit to our uh, Slovakian friends. Can someone finally surrender or just, just gonna retreat over and over again? I guess retreat it is. Retreat this, yeah. But the territory shrinks and less and less retreats are possible. We have here seven movement points, so like not to waste it. Can I do something? You can try like one little bit attack here, 
so it uh, burns a lot of their supplies. And it actually succeeds, so I had some luck, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe I, I just miss miscalculated how potent they could be. I can run division, I have one division more here. I could move it. Move it here, maybe. There are some units. I just bash it a bit. Uh, when they fight, they burn supplies faster, which is quite well mm, logical. And uh, yeah, it might speed up their surrender. We have here one Hungarian brigade, mountain brigade. Are there any holes? Holes, I guess. I could use the, the motorized brigades more to the east, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. No, I mean they use only the Cavalry Brigade. Cavalry Brigade is quite potent, I'd say. The 6 combat power is way more than the uh, motorized brigade. So maybe I should be using the cavalry brigade in the east. It's it fights. It fights well. It fights really well. Could do something like this, like this. We have one more Romanian um, mountain brigade. The attack failed. This was overdue, probably. Let's reinforce it with a, uh, with a division. Hopefully, that helps. Well, helped a bit, but not, not that much. Let's use those uh, motorized brigades so they can maybe assist us here. There is a security uh, regiment. Not good, not good, retreat it. <coughs> Finally, dealt with, eradicated. But be wary. Uh, overconfidence is slow in this insidious killer. You know from which game it's the the quote is. I bet you know. Okay, so the Romanians, yeah. What was I saying last turn about uh, uh, the divisions? Do I want to clear the pockets faster or do I want to let's use the, the repair here? No, it's fair. Oh well. Yeah, let's let's leave it. Let's leave it. Let's use this division more to the east. Come on, surrender. Come on, come on. Click, 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 wrong click. Wrong click. There was a fortified region there. Good to know. Whoa, a lot of them. A lot of bad guys. Start mid. From the top, the repeat attack. The Beaver's attack is way more potent than the regular attack. Let's maybe try it here. But <coughs> not potent enough in this in this um, instance. Yeah, and let's break it and march east. What I was saying about the HQs, like this HQ, 
uh, that I should um, take care of which division is assigned to which HQ. For example, this division is assigned to this HQ. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to uh, like to say something first and then do something completely different. But now something completely different. Monty Python, if I remember correctly. Okay, some jump around, jump around, some pockets cleared, some Romanians moved, maybe somewhere over here. I try to like deal with all the rear rear stuff really quickly. It's not that interesting, and it's not that um, well engaging, so to say, tactically or um, strategically. Just click around. The, the oh, God damn it. The largest decisions. Are uh, regarding uh, regarding if you want to uh, like retain the divisions in the back line or leave the pocket alone and send the divisions to the front line. And that's the most definitive uh, decisions. But they don't really matter. They well, they matter somehow. They may. You need to be, mm, you need to be uh, really, mm, how to say it, you need to leave the divisions in the back lines very sparingly. So mm, only a few divisions uh, need to be left behind. And I say really, really few. The, the pockets don't really matter, they just visually uh, just visually better if you clean it so you don't see uh, like red army troops in your um, in your rear but they don't from the gameplay point of view they don't really matter they can be there they cannot be there it's, com it's quite unrealistic mm. what i find the most unrealistic is that the uh, the, the divisions that are encircled, they lose uh, their own uh, uh, movement points, so the, uh, they no longer can can fight. But in real life, the soldiers will march uh, if they are encircled or not. Uh, for example, the Germans. Um, uh, after, like in 1944, 1945, they mm, mm, broke out of the answer commands uh, very often and they mm, fought uh, very, very hard to break out of the answer commands. The Soviets tended to stay put inside, but they also uh, fought very potent. And if the German high command, the Germ in real life, the German high command attacked the, the pockets. But if the pockets were left behind, like I do here, the, the Soviets would attempt to break, break free, yeah, like Freddie Mercury. But uh, they would attempt to get away. They wouldn't sit there for like a month and do nothing. And the cavalry brigade. You can send it, there's a small decision. You can send it over the river so it can be used later pushing. Mm, pushing, but I can send it to secure Dnipropetrovsk and free the Panzer, uh, Panzer Division, and I will do so. Why? That's because I have a lot of troops here, and this one has a special opportunity to, to be useful in quite distinctive way. Distinct or distinctive? I'm not sure. Quite distinct. 
Well, it matters, but the, the, the language really matters, and I, I'm kind of a, not maybe grammar Nazi, but I put some attention to the, uh, to the language, the quality of the language. Well, I'm moving the HPs around. For the Romanians, it don't really matter. There is no real front front line there's no real front line uh, so to say right now so the the combat that occurs and the supplies they receive it, it's it's not that important it's not critical yeah. it's not critical we are sending the uh, we are sending the uh, rail repair rail repair a bit to the front, we are over the river, so maybe some of the um, some of the uh, suppliers will have shorter travel time to uh, to our front line units. Yeah, the the big decision is what to do with, with the um, corps corps here. Uh, we have some. Uh, I forgot to edit them. Yeah, but I was not actually on the front line, so no real use to recon. But we are on the front lines now, so it's recon. I don't remember if I reconned last turn. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. Uh, here I probably reconned. Here I didn't, so I found some uh, missing one in Zaporozhye, for example. Mm, yeah. <coughs> if you're not sure, better recon again. Mm, okay, so the decision for the Panzer course. We have here some movement points, like 20, and here zero movement points, like 12 or something like this. Uh, so, what do we do? We can stay put and do a... Mm, no, we cannot do a mm, uh, HP build-up. Could try maybe. Could try. How far the HP has to go back to be able to do the HP build up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's by 31 movement points. I think it's 20 something movement points to do HP, the, the HP build up. If I'm not mistaken, it's not 30. No, it says here. Uh, it would be a option here. God damn! How much support units does the Panzer Corps have? Oh my god! I didn't know. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah. So now no we're just doing this uh, HQ build up. I think we just stay put. We can capture some territory, and maybe uh, this one. Uh, this one. Uh, it's called airborne units. Uh, you can do with the, or you can just come to see what's in Zaporozhye. If I'm over the river, then I will receive zero fuel. If I'm not over the river, I will receive some. And there's one, there's one rifle division. Yeah, rifle division. Yeah, I can place myself uh, here maybe. Yeah, so there burn the gate. I think it cannot go away. Let's just put it in the zone of control. Yeah, and let's just put the HQ on top of it. So we can mm, eliminate it next turn. Yeah, and so with the, the Panzer Corps that are a bit closer mm, to the back line. I have one infantry division here as well. Let's put it as far east as we can. Mm, and we have, uh, no, I thought it's a Romanian division, but we just marched it uh, there. Let's encircle those troops that are here. These are probably only HQs. 
So let's encircle those troops and make a small, small little pocket. And yeah, let's see. HQ. How do we do it? No, I'm not gonna sing again this song. Let's put the mm, let's put the Panzer Division maybe maybe fifty, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's put it maybe here, hereish, hereish. Get you some fuel. I want to sweep from the south as well, but I could. No, I couldn't. Yeah. So, the sponsor division has no fuel anyways, so I could place it maybe about here. Captured some fuel. Yeah, I think it's okay to do. The infantry can move like here, then it cannot cross again. And those units can move like here. Here, so maybe no. I'd like to place some units in this location. Oh, yeah. Do we do it? Uh, no. Place it like here. No. Okay. Okay. Good. Great, great. Why is this HQ color swing? Uh, okay. I won't move those. Uh, I won't move those units. Can do I? No. Ah, I probably cannot do the build up because we are short on uh, administrative power points. Administrative. Power, the power is yours. Uh, no, we are short on the administrative side of the things, and probably this. This not this. This car. Okay. Why do I have four units in this core, but only two units? In uh, okay. Probably in the uh, earlier turns I messed up. Some things. Probably a lot of things. I could place the. I could place the uh, airfield here and transfer some fuel to this, these divisions because the, they're in the previously occupied territory. They're the light, light green hexes, not the dark green. Yeah, and we'll probably do, do this. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Now this conundrum. The we have what's the situation? We have some infantry divisions back there. We have uh, a fully uh, fully fueled uh, Panzer Corps in Kiev, and we have like half fuels or some units fueled, but. Um, this one unit, like with 46 movement tons, it's a lot. And some units that are not so much uh, fueled because the Soviets intervened and uh, broke our uh, broke our pocket. So what do we do? 100% uh, we want to repocket those troops because we invested already in pocketing, so there's no need in um, there's no need in um, routing them out. So I want to pocket them again. I want to just say uh, one thing about the Russian um, uh, cavalry divisions. They ignore zone of controls as far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, I'm not sure, but or they have just l limited uh, influence of the zone of control, so they can move quite deeply into the and break the pockets quite easily. Uh, they are very potent units on the Soviet side. And later in the war, they can be transformed into uh, cavalry corps, so like three divisions or something like this, 
uh, yeah, I think it's three divisions, can be merged into um, Cavalry Corps, which is very, very potent Soviet unit, at least in the first half of the war. Uh, so if you are playing Soviets, if you are playing Soviets uh, probably against human opponent, but there is no mm, sense in playing Soviets versus the AI, because the, the AI cannot mm, is incapable of doing any pockets. So it's like World War One, more like World War Two simulator. Uh, if you are playing the Soviets, and uh, yeah. If you're playing uh, the Soviets as the oh my god! If you're playing the Soviets versus a human, uh, save as many as those uh, cavalry divisions you can, and then uh, they're the, the most valuable units uh, you have in your uh, in your like portfolio in your army. Transform the, them in winter. In winter 1941, you can transform them into the cavalry course and just wreck the, so the Germans. Okay, enough enough Soviet, Soviet talk. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? We have two cores. Two cores, quite quite a lot of fuel. Uh, first, we see where they can go. Where they can go. They can go quite far. Can, they can go to Kursk. They can go near Kharkov. They can encircle a lot of things, but they're only HQs. We don't need to encircle them. Uh, there are some divisions here, we could encircle them, but what's the most important thing, in my opinion? You may, you may not agree with me, but, uh, and if you do so, please comment, of course, uh, we can have a discussion about it. My idea is here, we drive north, we drive north to link up with the, um, with the army group center. We can drive north, north exactly north but we can drive like here just to link up with those uh, with those units so they get supplies from the north not from the south because from the south there are, the railroad is well one exactly one mm, one screen away that's a lot of hexes and when they station around homia there will be also one screen away so well but if I move them away from Kiev, it's way more than one screen because they can go really, really far, and it will be like two screens away from the um, uh, from the uh, railhead. So I think we drive to Homia and we try to link up with the infantry. We could also the alternative is to drive to Bryansk and uh, like stay there, but it's only one. Uh, well, it's two one and a half Panzer Corps because some of the units cannot drive that far. They can drive just uh, like here, and uh, they can be cut cut off because we don't have uh, we won't be able to provide infantry support around the eyes. So that's the um, that's the idea, the general idea. First, let's move the infantry. Uh, I've talked a lot about uh, well. <coughs> I've talked about um, country units and then we move infantry, of course. Because that's how I roll, yeah, well, exactly. We have here two units and we must encircle them and destroy them. They're huge uh, Soviet units, motor divisions, tank divisions. And uh, we must send as many infantry divisions over the river as possible because when they are once they are over the river they can move freely mm, further when they stay mm, on this side of the river and they mm, have to pay uh, the movement cost again in the next turn so it's suboptimal i was saying something about the mm, hqs that i should pay attention where do I place the, the, the cores? So I move the cores together. Uh, so I shoot, maybe, sometimes. For example, this core. I move it to the south. And this core. I move it to the north. We have one division from the southern core. We could 
use it later. Can we link up with this division? We probably can't, because it's over the river. The last time it was over the river. I mean, it was not over the river. This one is over the river. And there's the the the, uh, the idea. Do we use it and move it uh, north, or do we have to burn the movement points and use it to cut the enemy off in the south? So the answer is we have to use one divisions, one division to cut the enemy, because otherwise we won't cut the enemy. Uh, yeah, we can easily move it. Uh, further. Why? Why cannot we move it further? Because when they cross the river in the zone of control, they can only cross the river in the zone of control of this, of this division. So they move all the all their movement points for this just this one crossing. And then they, there's some more zone of controls. So they probably won't mm, break the answer to that. Probably. There's always this... Um, we're not always 100% sure how this situation is gonna um, evolve. Uh, what do we do? We have this union, this union, they're both uh, in this core, so they probably should stay here and um, do something. Yeah. Cross the river. No, we cannot. So let's move here. And let's move over the river. So we replace this formation and mm, this formation can move even further. What do we want to do? We want to displace this division because it blocks our, uh, our way north. But we won't probably be able to do it with one division. Because it's fortified level 1. Pay attention to the fortified uh, levels. Can we use this division? No, we can't. Can we use this division? Yes, we can. We can also send the HP up and pray. Do we succeed? Yes, we do. We have moved the division a little bit up. Can we use another one? We have one. Slovakian mobile mobile force. Slovakian. We cannot do much, I guess. Let's see. Let's use this one. Now they <coughs> have no uh, fourth level, so we try with one one formation. We succeed. Have one more here. Can they finally route? No, they can. Not only they cannot route, but they cannot move at all. So we will need to um, use our uh, fancy formations for this um, for this task. Which do we use? We have here one brigade. This one has only 28 movement points. Let's see how the situation in Chernikov looks like. It's clear. Okay. Very well. It's clear. But it's still only the regiment. It has 30 movement points here, but this division is quite low on movement points, so we could use it as our fighting force. They still retreat. Mm. They still retreat, and I won't be able to attack them. <coughs> so. And that's that. 
Not like in place. Now this like location is quite vulnerable because this division can just jump one one, and it's mm, and it's free, so to say. So I have to place the. So I have to place the regiment here, and hopefully they cannot. I will be evacuating this uh, this division, so I have to have someone to replace it. Well, this division is quite. I can send another one. Another one here. Another one there. Another one by the rest. Did they say something about singing? I don't think so. Uh, over the river, at least over the river. And the mountain unit. Also, uh, let's move it east. Let's move it east. East. Is das good? Yeah, and we have one more, <coughs> one more unit, but it's not very combat uh, well, movement points rich. So let's so let's clear the way. Yeah. Let's clear the way bit and then we use our our next our next formations whoa 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 okay Yeah, but we put it here, but they left uh, Homier uncaptured, undefended. Okay, okay. <coughs> I'm not gonna cry. I could drive here, maybe? And are we good? Yeah, 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 we are good. We are linked up. You see, you see, I drive here, and I'm not in the yellow, in the yellow zone because I linked up here, and our supplies are is being traced from the north now. So, 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 my idea was not bad. Was not bad, I think. I can place the HQ and place the other HQ, and also here. I'll be doing the um, HQ specific video probably in the next in the next episode <coughs> because I want to pay some more attention to it and we have 12 uh, administrative power so we will be able to do actually do something with the admin side and we'll be ending the turn in the next episode and we'll be seeing if our Moscow, um, mm, how it's called, not Shenando, but uh, Shenanigan, oh, yeah, the, the Moscow Shenanigan, um, will it go good or will it go, will it go well or will it go not so well, badly, I guess. We have one security division, the one security division, that's not, not so shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, let's see if we find it. That's interesting. It's going to be like somewhere here. I guess it should. Or not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. Let's place it here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <coughs> okay, okay. Mm. Well enough. So, um, the episode is about to close what we've achieved. We've not achieved much in the south. We, um, what it seems, Odessa is not defended. The Romanians can take it. 
In real life, the Odessa was heavily defended. The Romanians assaulted the city over and over again and bled themselves dry. And it was the end of the Romanian offensive power, so to say. The, the best units were spent in uh, assaulting Odessa, which was the best decision of the command. Uh, yeah, um, anyways, the, the, the south. Yeah, Nepropetrovsk is safe, Zaporozhye is not conquered now. Um, we have small pocket here. Just most important thing, we are in, in the uh, middle of the transfer, in the middle of transfer uh, of our units from Army Group Center actually, back to the Army Group Center. And the transfer seems to be um, quite successful, I must say. Uh, we've linked up with the Army Group uh, Center in one move, so we are not uh, caught in the middle of nowhere with no supplies. Where some of the divisions are, but uh, but yeah, when the mm, corridor will be widened, the, they probably have enough uh, enough fuel to uh, to come here, to be refueled, and to go to Moscow, because we need to go to Moscow, or we will be having we will be in command of Moscow by then. We will see. We will see. See you guys next time. Thanks for your comments. Uh, thanks for your um, input. Uh, what I forgot to say, uh, one dude uh, called Victor uh, messaged me on the forums, on the uh, World East uh, uh, Matrix forums, and said that uh, um, I was trying to fly fuel uh, in one of the um, previous Amigo Soft episodes. I was trying to fly fuel from the airfield and I put the airfield uh, a little bit to the front and uh, I couldn't fly any fuel missions and then I put the airfield back to the railhead and then I could fly the fuel missions. Why? Because the airfield has to be five hexes from the railhead to be able to fly the, the fuel missions and the, that guy, Victor, it's a fellow guy from Poland um, and um, he I pointed this uh, rule out and uh, thanks a lot Victor, uh, I've learned something and now I uh, hopefully we will learn something uh, as well, where I mean the, all the people that watch. So 5 hexes from the railhead, your, your um, airfields, remember. Thanks a lot and see you guys next time.